Hey gang, I wanted to give you a quick update on the uh, Kingsong 16X issues, the app issue and the oscillation issue. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, with the forms. Um, and Gucci has clarified uh, when he sees the problem, which is to say that it's limited to hard acceleration followed by immediate braking. Um, he did not see the problem cruising at high speed and then doing hard braking. He didn't see the problem going up hills and then hard braking. He's only seen it when he really accelerates hard and really brakes hard. Um, basically, he wanted this thing to perform as good or better th as it got way. And um, that's when he discovered this stuff. Uh, King Sung, um, one of my sources inside the, the factory, said they didn't see it because their writers and engineers don't write as hard as, <laughs> as these folks in the wild, um, like Gucci. And, uh, I, gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And so they didn't discover that until the production version was out. But they've been working with him on the firmware, and they've got a, a new firmware version which we're delivering to him for testing. Uh, he says he's been working with them for a month, and they expect to be having a fix pretty soon. Um, best guess was mid-August uh, for the software problem. Um, so just an FYI. But I've also heard from uh, other owners on the forums that they felt that... Um, they were getting some wobbles at the medium mode, uh, but not in the expert mode. So um, what I'm going to say is for myself, uh, while I've gotten wobbles, I'm acknowledging them as not oscillations, but as me getting used to my sea legs on this thing so far. Of course, I haven't really gone crazy on it, because uh, why would I? Um, but so far, I haven't seen anything like that. It's, it's behaved as good, if not better, um, as the other wheels for me. Um, with respect to the app, uh, in particular the Voltage, um, there should be a new Android version coming out um, this week, and I think iOS is not far behind it. It's got to clear the stores, but uh, it would not be surprising if we see that uh, by the end of the week, if not early next week. So that is just kind of an update on uh, on the, the issues. Um, and for what it's worth, uh, as as this early adopters find these things, we're, we're funneling it into to our, our, our sales channels and our, uh, our service channels and letting people know. Um, and so hopefully by the time these wheels are in your hands, uh, you didn't have to mess with any of this. Um, it's a great wheel, man. I really I like it. I'm not paid to say that. I'm just letting you know that as an enthusiast, I really like this wheel. And uh, all wheels have, have teething pains, right? Um, Maybe also worth saying is that people have compared the situation to the Gotways, and I want to point out a radical departure and difference here, which is that the Gotways, almost all of their problems universally are caused by cost cutting. Um, so what you see too thin a wire being used in the gauge, uh, causing it to melt, or the MOSFETs overheating because they put glue on, or because they downsized the MOSFETs, or or that kind of thing. Um, whereas the King Song problems are in a different league to me because they are all about new technologies. Uh, the sensor lift handle um, in the 18L, for example, new technology, right? Release it to the field, you discover things. Um, new motor, new PMW, pushing the edge, um, new wheel concept. Yeah, we're seeing some things there. New app. Um, so there's there's kind of the difference. They do reasonable testing, but until you release the stuff in the field, just remember that even today with cars 100 years later, we still have, have problems and recalls, um, even with massive design efforts. Mistakes get made, guys, and uh, just wear padding, wear safety gear, treat it with respect. It's a vehicle.